his happy place or his special place is wherever my family and friends are. Location doesn't matter, they do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for my chair because okay. it's gonna be really quick. I'm gonna save this a lot of time uh, in terms of the agenda. So uh, the what I'm gonna do as grammarian is listen for the filler words, the ums and the ahs, the you know, stuff like that. And the word of the day is verdant. Which means on the board, it means bright green or green due to lush growing vegetation. It's the kind of special place that John is talking about. It might be, you know, might be a verdant place. So that is the word of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. And as you all know, we get extra points if we can use it. But where the points go, I don't know. They do get extra points. April is going to provide us with our thought joke of the day. April. Uh, today, uh, talk here, I want to show everybody, is anger management. Um, anger, angry with someone, uh, think before you talk. If the person is junior to you, count 10, then talk. If the person it's equal to you, count up to 30, then talk. If the person is your senior to you, count up to 50 and talk. If the person is your wife, <laughs> keep counting. <laughs> <laughs> if the person is your husband, keep talking. <laughs> Don't cut. Thank you. That is great. I have to learn. I definitely have to learn that info because hmm, it doesn't work so well in the household. <laughs> Right now, we are going, we're going to hear our first speech today, and our first speech is going to be given by Leslie Ash. But before I bring Leslie up, uh, I, are you going to count, Pete? Are you going to count before you talk with your wife? No. Yeah. Peter is, is her evaluator, and Peter was, is going to provide us with her speech objectives. Uh, but before you start, Peter, you also shared uh, a place that you like to escape to, and your favorite place, and, and what Peter has shared with us is, my favorite place is on a beach, sitting on a driftwood log, watching the waves roll in and out. It could be anywhere, but probably on the west coast. Just thinking about it relaxes me. Uh, Leslie showed me the uh, first script for her uh, speech today, which is a story uh, called Hardcore, and uh, I said, I guess your uh, goal here is to make people laugh. And she said, well, to make people laugh and to make people cry. So I, I don't think that it's going to make you cry, but uh, let's see if it doesn't make you laugh. It's out of manual speech. Thank you. Welcome, Leslie. <coughs> Maybe I'm going to make you cry first. Um, so, uh, a few weeks ago, I went to Mount Auburn for what I thought was a little uh, cardiac diagnostic procedure. When I was in recovery, the surgeon came in who said, well, Leslie, uh, we don't really want you to leave today. We want you to have the surgery right now because you need to have a three-way heart bypass and it's not safe for you to leave the building. And, you know, that really wakes you up. Uh, and it's part of the reason why I haven't memorized this because I've been a little distracted and I'm trying to find ways to calm down. 
And what occurred to me was all the sinful eating I've done to clog up my arteries. <coughs> so, hardcore. Oh, geez, just what I needed. The red and blue lights were flashing in my rear view mirror. What does he want now? I pulled over and waited. Biting my thumbnail while digging around the glove compartment for my license. It was somewhere in that unholy mess of Toyota manuals, flashlights, emergency recent pieces, pressure gauges, an old half-eaten box of melted coopers, and an even older smudge pair of Bradley smudge sunglasses I used, but I couldn't find my good pair. I checked my side mirror. The cop was still sitting there, probably watching me sweat. Finally, he runs over to my window and asks for my ID. What is it this time, Domingo? Don't give me any of your lip, Leslie. You're in big trouble this time. What did I do? You were putting away a whole side of chive cream cheese and fruit and bagels cream cheese. <laughs> and then my guys have clocked you doing eating Cheerios while doing 60. Look, Domingo, I can explain. It was just a few because I was under stress. My voice was starting to squeak. Get off it, Leslie. I know you. You're a habitual user. What do you know? Ralphie, my former partner, told me he saw you taking the top off, a to off an Oreo. Toss it out the window. All while doing 60 in the school zone. Besides, you can't eat just one Oreo. They're hardcore. <laughs> you have no proof, I said, drawing myself up as straight as I could. Yeah, tell it to the judge. I'm holding you in. Domingo gives me the steely-eyed look he perfected for intimidating thugs. I shut up. But Domingo, out of the car with your hands behind your head. But Domingo, I can't get out of my car if my hands are behind my head. He dragged me out by my left arm and roughly turned me around and threw me up against the driver's side door. He handcuffed me, then threw me in the back seat of his squad car. When we got to the courthouse, Domingo marched me up to the judge's bench. We have a bad one here, Judge Judy. This is the eighth time I've stopped her when she's been OUI. The judge said, overeating while underinhibited. <laughs> it's time. She was driving while eating in an in everything bagel. She was driving one hand while eating the bagel with the other. If that wasn't bad enough, I saw separated Oreo cookies on the passenger seat. <laughs> when she wasn't eating bagels, she was licking the cream off the Oreo. She was splitting all while driving. <laughs> Tabrico looked at me and scowled. The judge looked down at me from her bench with a stern look on her face. What do you have to say for yourself? Your Honor, I was sorely tempted. I mean, honestly, could you turn down and everything bagel if I handed you one right now? That's not relevant, right? <laughs> no. I reached into my bag and handed her a fresh everything bagel. Still hot from the oven. The, <laughs> the judge snatched the bagel and bit into it. Her stern face relaxed. She tasted the cream cheese. She got a green, a dreamy look in her eyes. I missed my case, I said. She dismissed the charges. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What the happened?